Alginates and hydrogels absorb water to form a gel. Alginates can absorb up to 20 times its weight in water, whereas hydrogels can absorb up to 500 times its own weight in water. Effectively, they dry up the exudating wound. Once they are hydrated, they donate water to the wound and maintain a moisture balance. These are the dressings containing alginate, whereas these are the dressings containing hydrogel. These dressings contain both alginate and hydrogel. Antiseptics are added to prevent the waterlogged dressing from getting infected. Antiseptics also act on the wound, for example, polyhexamethyl biguanide, silver, and honey. These dressings are charged with antiseptics. Foams are synthetic sponge in which the empty spaces absorb the fluid. These are foam dressings. Pseudofoams are foams in which the spaces are filled with a combination of alginates and hydrogels. For example these. On gross appearance, a wound could be either black, yellow, red or pink. Black wounds might be mushy to touch and these require debridement because it contains necrotic tissues. Wounds which are yellow contain slough and would require debridement. Red colored wounds are healing but they are slightly infected, whereas pink wounds are healing and ready for grafting. The four steps of wound bed preparation are debridement, infection control, moisture balance, and care of epithelialization and edge control. The debridement could either be autolytic, surgical, or other types. Infection control in the form of debridement and dressings. Different types of dressings do provide moisture balance, whereas one would require surgical skill to maintain the edge of 45 degrees to promote keratinocyte migration. A variety of products containing aloe vera and surface active agents are used to clean the wound and peri wound to protect vital structures such as blood vessels, periosteum and tendons. One should use a wound contact layer. On the basis of infection and exudate, wounds could be infected and exudating, uninfected but exudating, infected but dry and uninfected but dry. Infected and exudating wounds would be black, yellow or red in color. The priority would be debridement, infection control and moisture balance and these dressings would help. Uninfected exudating wounds would either be red or pink in color. The priority would be infection control, moisture balance and control of the edge to promote keratinocyte migration. These dressings are recommended. Wounds which are infected and dry would either be yellow or pink in color. The priority would be debridement followed by infection control and donation of moisture. These dressings serve those purposes. And finally, uninfected and dry wounds would be pink in color. The priority would be moisturization, infection control, and promotion of keratinocyte migration. These dressings are ideal for this purpose.